What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Lock It Tech. Today, we've got a great one for you guys. You guys really seem to like our tips and tricks video that we did a little while back. They sure did. If you haven't seen it by chance, go ahead and click the link that's right above Michelle, right there. You guys blew that thing up. Well, today, we've got more tips and tricks to share with you guys in a part two and some fun, silly little things that you could just do because it's fun. We've got you covered in all sorts of tips and tricks on this one. Stuff from like, you can use every day in your Tesla, all the way to like some silly, just fun ones to do. Yeah, so let's get to it. Let's jump right to it. On a day-to-day -day basis, I keep my mileage at percent. This is the most accurate way and the way that I just like to know how much percent of my battery is left while I'm driving. However, if I'm on a different trip, I sometimes like to know, is that 100 miles? Is that 200 miles? There's an easy way to check that. But keep in mind, that is not the most accurate way because that's based on EPA averages. So as you're driving, you could go through a lot more miles than what you think. But if you just want to get an estimate and see what that looks like, it's easy to tap on your screen. So take a look at the screen. At the top, you have your percentage. If you tap that percent, it now tells you how many miles that is equal to. Tap it again, and it brings it right back. So easy to do for a quick and easy way to look at your percent and how many miles are left. Next on our list is a correction that all of you guys pointed out many, 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 many times in our last tips and tricks video, which by the way, if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and click it right here because there's a lot of cool stuff in there. But as many of you pointed out, there was one additional way to open up your charge port that we forgot to mention. In, in our defense, they did just add that in a software update that came out literally like a week before we released that video. So here is the additional way that we missed on our last video on how to open up your charge port. All you have to do is press the right wheel to activate the speak to talk and let the Tesla know that you want to open it up, but in a very Elon fashion. Open butthole. And there you go. It's open. Thanks for the reminder, guys. You guys never let us miss a beat. I love this next tip. This is one that I use all the time when I'm on some kind of a road trip and I'm not sure how it is going. So when you're on a road trip and you're experiencing that anxiety, am I gonna make it, am I not? And this will help ease that anxiety. When you're driving and you go on your screen, and if you go to energy, this is gonna show you your projected energy consumption. Now this is a short trip for us, so obviously 75%, we're not losing too much. However, there have been road trips, especially recently, where our projection was 5% before we could get to a charger because there was not a charger around that could help us. When you're driving and you go on your screen, and if you go to energy, this is gonna show you your projected energy consumption. Now this is a short trip for us, so obviously 75%, we're not losing too much. However, there have been road trips, especially recently, where our projection was 5% before we could get to a charger because there was not a charger around that could help us. So while we were driving, you could keep this screen up and it's not going to show you the directions because you can't have both screens at one time, but you can easily watch whether your consumption is staying there and still projected to be at 5%. Is it getting better or is it slowly getting worse and you need to watch what you're doing? This is extremely helpful also if you have a trailer or you're towing something because your consumption is clearly more than what the car is thinking your consumption is. So it's a great way to estimate how are you doing? How quickly do you need to find a charger? And are you really gonna make it to that next charger that Tesla's projecting you to get to? This next one is a great, awesome feature. If let's say you're away on vacation, you're enjoying yourself, sipping a few Mai Tais on the beaches of the Bahamas, and all of a sudden back home, you get news of a storm that's coming and you need your car to be moved. Or maybe you parked it under a tree and you're worried about maybe a big limb that may fall down during the storm and hurt your car. How do you give somebody access to move your car when you're nowhere to be found? Well, this one's got you covered. It's a cool little trick where you you can give somebody access to drive the car for two minutes without you or your key card being present at all. It's very simple to do, and it's actually done through the Tesla app. 
all you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your Tesla app, you're gonna go into the controls feature, and then at the very bottom, you have four options that go across. Flash, honk, start, and home link. You're gonna press the start button. That's going to remotely start the car so somebody without either your key card or your phone can get in, and now they have two full minutes to drive the car and put it someplace where it'll be safe for you. Following up on that same concept of being on the beaches in the Bahamas sipping a few Mai Tais, let's say you had a few deliveries done at your house, and especially this time of year, porch pirates, they're everywhere. <gasps> well, you need to get them inside the house. How can the Tesla help with this? Guess what? It can, as long as you have Homelink installed in your Tesla, as long as your Tesla is parked safely at home, you can go into the app and you can access Homelink and pop open that garage. It's very simple. Again, via the Tesla app, you hop right into your Tesla app. Again, you're gonna go to your controls option. And then at the bottom, next to the start feature that we just used, you're gonna press that Homelink button. Then it's gonna give you a pop-up. Are you sure you wanna open up the garage and give access? Yes, I'm sure, go ahead and do it. And then boom, the garage door is open. It's a nice, quick, easy little feature to give somebody quick access to your house if you're not home. Now, of course, you do gotta make sure your car is home. So there's a little bit of a drawback. Your car still needs to be here. But if you're away on vacation, and let's say somebody's gotta come over to let your animals out, or they gotta bring a package in for you, it's a nice, easy way to make it happen. Guess what? You can close it the same way too. Just hit that home link button again, hit yes to confirm, and then all of a sudden, boom, it's gonna go ahead and close for you automatically. So when you first get in your car during the day, your calendar automatically pops up. It's a great way to just get a visual of what do you have for the day. However, as you continue through your day and you're getting back in your car, I know for me, I'm on the road a lot, it doesn't pop up after that initial time. So if you wanna see your calendar very quickly on your screen, if you look where the time is and you do one click, your calendar then pops up and it's a very easy way for you to get to see what do you have for the rest of your day. This tip came from one of you, so thanks for this tip. If you're a family of four and you're going on a little bit of a road trip and you want some leg room for that tall team that you have, you wanna fold down the middle row so that you can have a little bit more space. You would then have some options. You can put your legs on top, you can put your legs back down below. You have a lot more room for that tall team who's then riding in this third row. Hey, figured I'd join you back here cozy in this third row. It does get a little cozy when you try to put two back here, but it does work because it is pretty nice and comfortable and lets you stretch your legs out a little bit. I do got to say, this is a pretty cool little tip because if you do have a family of four, one of which happens to be a tall teen, and you're on one of those long road trips and they just kind of want to stretch their legs out, gives them a nice chance to kind of sit back here, stretch out a little bit, maybe pop a movie on, on their phone or their device, and they can just kind of chill back here and really kind of edge probably beneficial to Brandon. We'll have to try it with the middle row only and the other two kids and hope that they don't fight over his stinky feet. Oh, you're gonna try and pull this off with all five in the car? Yeah. Brandon <laughs> says sometimes he just wants to stretch his legs. So putting the seats down not only works for us big people, but it also works for us little people. What do you think? How do you like your legs out like that? It's really comfy because there's like soft things right here that get it really soft for your leg. And what do you think? Could you like relax on a long car ride? What would you be doing? Playing on an iPad? Yeah, I'd be just, I would probably just be laying down trying to fall asleep if I'm tired. Don't forget your pillow. Yeah. There you have it, the opinion of an expert. <laughs> So this next one is one of my personal favorites. Let's say you're driving down the highway or really any road and you're chilling in autopilot. And let's be honest here, from time to time, we all have an occasion to set autopilot for maybe a few miles an hour over the speed limit. And you're driving down and you're coming up and you see a police officer down the road and you're like, uh-oh, I gotta quickly adjust my speed here. <laughs> Rather than having to fumble with the little wheels here on your steering wheel, you can quickly adjust your speed with one quick touch. So if you notice here, we're in autopilot. We're currently at going about 50 miles an hour while the speed limit is actually 45. Uh-oh, we see it and we gotta slow down. 
all you got to do is press the speed limit sign that shows up on your display and boom it adjusted our speed right down to 45 really quick it's a nice little uh one touch trigger when all of a sudden you're driving and need to make a quick adjustment like that super easy super quick we all know and love autopilot and we are all very familiar with that blue screen that you get and it'll ask you to place your hands on the wheel and things like that well rather than putting your hands on the wheel and having to put some force on there there's actually a shortcut that you can do just to quickly let it know so right now it's wanting me to let it know that i'm paying attention rather than grabbing the wheel and steering all i'm gonna do is just simply touch the wheel the little side wheels on the side of your steering wheel itself and when you do that it will go ahead and let the car know that you're paying attention and it will satisfy that uh that blue screen option rather than having to grab the wheel and give it some pressure of steering wheel. it's just a quick little shortcut of easily letting the car know without having to worry about oh am i putting too much pressure on the wheel and then is it going to cancel the autopilot altogether just a quick little shortcut this next one is just a silly little cool trick that you can do just to give a little bit of fun to your Tesla. If you come over here to the charge port, now when you plug it in, you'll notice it goes blue while it's thinking about whether or not it can make a good connection. And then as long as it does have a good connection, it go ahead and it turns green. Well, we have a fun little option that we can do where we can put it in rainbow mode for rainbow charging. Again, silly fun little trick that you can do just to kind of change it up every once in a while. All you have to do is once you plug in your charger, you're gonna go ahead and tap the button on the charger 10 times and it'll put it in rainbow mode. Let's check it out. So you plug it in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Boom puts it into rainbow charge mode. Give it a try, especially when you plug it in at night. It looks really cool and really, really bright at nighttime. So when you're in the third row, sometimes it can be a little lonely. You have your own time back here. You have to ask those people in the front, hey, can you get me this? Can you do this for me? This feature is just for you in that third row. Behind this middle seat, there's a button. And when you push that button, it releases. And now you get to see everything around you and what's going on. The second thing about this is the airflow back here isn't always the best. There are no vents back here. The vent right here in the middle, especially on those hot days to get air conditioning or cold days to get heat, this provides that ability for the air to come through. As we just showed you, it also gives you the ability, hopefully they like you, to put your feet and stretch out a little bit. And Mace, what's the last feature that you like? I really like using this as a tabletop on road trips with Tyler and Brandon to like use it to play a bunch of card games that we have right here. We always use it to like put our pillow pillows there and then like use that to sleep and like put our heads on the pillows. So that's why I really like that feature. But who has to control it? Brandon. Brandon in the back. <laughs> Whenever I say to, for Brandon to put it down, he never puts it down. <laughs> well, too bad Brandon's out here to defend himself. Yeah. Because <laughs> he doesn't want anybody distracting his videos. There you have it guys, some more tips and tricks for you to help with your Tesla. And if you somehow did miss that first video, there's like 20 amazing tips in that one. Go ahead and click that link again, it's right above Michelle, and uh, check it out. If you think we missed something or you've got a cool tip or trick that you found, let us know in the comments down below. We'll be more than happy to share it with everybody and maybe we'll do a part three, who knows? And if it is something fun and silly, add that too, we like those. Oh yeah, fun and silly are great. And don't forget to check us out on our socials guys. And coming up, we're going to be getting you guys involved in some of our videos through our social media. One we got coming up, we're going to be doing a Q&A session where we're answering all your questions that you want to know about Tesla. So if you found this video helpful, you like the tips and tricks, you're finding something that you want to try in your own, please make sure to like that video. Smash that like button, guys. It helps. Trust me, it helps. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. You wouldn't want to miss any of the videos coming up, and then you could get caught up on the ones you might have missed. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we will see you with another one. See you later. Somebody's always got to be blowing their leaves around here when we film. What is the deal? We have to live in like the cleanest community on the planet. That didn't go well. How do we get out of here? It took us like five minutes to figure out how to close the door after we Not got us, in here. Not us, just him. Mm -hmm.
You make it look so simple. I'm out. Full percentage of your battery that's left and I'm gonna start over. This is gonna be painful. <laughs> it's gonna take like seven tries. This is too much to remember. Take 10. Look, look, how many times have we had to redo things because somebody else, this is my turn. Today is my mess up day. I just want my coffee. On a day-to-day -day basis, I keep my, on a, mm. on a day-to-day -day basis, I, <laughs> stop laughing at me. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Good thing the camera's rolling. I can't remember what I did an hour ago. 